Hi marketers, welcome to another episode of the Marketing Maverick Show. My name is Chris. I'm Wasim. And uh, today we are joined by Girard Comte, who is a serial entrepreneur and a really experienced marketer in outbound lead generation, outbound marketing. And we're super, super excited to have him here on the show today. Uh, he's he's uh, the founder of Find That Lead, a very well-known tool in lead scraping. He also founded many other tools called Scrabin for LinkedIn automation, Find That Fake, which is a tool to identify fake users in SaaS tools. And then I just recently have seen he started another tool just last month called the Meerkat Backlinking Outreach. So um, we'll see if we can cover all of those, but mainly we want to talk about back, like his expertise in outbound marketing, his story in entrepreneurship, and there yeah, are many other interesting things we can learn. So uh, very excited. Welcome, Jira. Thank you very much, Chris. Um, I hope the connection is working well. If in any moment it cuts down, just let me know because I am on the road and 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 just be patient. And probably we can cut it back again. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for the invitations. And just to let to know everyone, I missed the first spot. That means thank you very much, guys, to let me have a second time. Yeah, that's no problem. That's no problem. That's thanks. <laughs> okay, so I I saw on your LinkedIn you said something that inspired you initially in business was you were reading the book for our work week. So I wanted to ask you like, um, how did, did this relate to your starting point in business and what did you learn from that book and how did it get yeah, you going? Cause it sounds a little bit cliche, but it, it did change my life. It took me, I would say 10 years to apply everything I know from the book or at least a few things. That means it's, uh, patience is probably the only number one thing to everything is just patience. That means whatever the thing you do, you don't need anything else than patience, patience, and patience, <laughs> and patience, <laughs> and acceptance. You know what this white, white hair is? <laughs> this is like, yeah, there's a difference between you and me, seriously. It's like, I don't know, you're like 22, 23? 25. <laughs> yeah, well, 25. It, it's, it, seriously, it's, it's, a, it's a win on the age. I'm now 38 and I can feel it, man. It's like, fuck, things are more stable and things are more, and the decisions you take, they are better taken slower and you know it's for the next two or three years type of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, the book helped me. It opened my eyes at the time when I, first time I read it. And now certainly I am in a better position that Tim Ferriss was at the time, you know, and it's amazing. I never thought it would be like that. But it's not casualty. It's it's over 10 years of work and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's very interesting because I read the book um, myself. And I think the crux of the book is that you have to quit doing things which you do yourself. Um, and I, I kind of have this question, which obviously everybody will have because you're kind of running all these SaaS businesses and you're traveling. So what are the things which you're kind of delegating and and things which you are still doing yourself. Yeah, uh, that's that's a good question. I try to, Fasim. I try. I really try to delegate everything. Seriously, yeah. everything. Yeah, and I not, can tell that. And I'm, <laughs> and not because, and this is a self-esteem thing. Eh? Not because I think my time is better. They do better than I do it. Just to yeah. let you know, man. <clears throat> and this is super. Imp it's based on. I know someone else. Uh, one thing is, I make cr I made crazy amount of mistakes when I write emails. Like crazy amount of mistakes when I write emails. Then what I do is I ask Kat, my assistant, to write the email for me. We talk once a day. It's like okay, she does better emails, faster, follow them, put them in a the CRM. It's like man, this is it would take me like ages to do that. Kat do it for me everything. Once a day in the afternoon, morning, whenever we feel like we talk five minutes and it's like, cut, okay, this email, this email, this email. She has, it's just amazing, man. And what I want to tell you is if you have any weaknesses, it's like you're going to be full of weaknesses if you know yourself. Just make sure there's people filling up those weaknesses. And, and, and this is the best thing I ever do. I don't know, don't know how to code or how to edit. And I'm seriously, and another cliche, I, sometimes it's like, fuck, I feel the stupidest person in the team. I don't know how to program. I don't know how to do marketing. I don't know how to do emails. 
um yes this is this is this is amazing this is a, a great point to feel in your team yeah. yeah that's why i left this is seriously this is the reason why i left because i was the bottleneck on the day-to-day -day, on the day-to-day -day things in the office and we said yeah let's have an adventure with my girlfriend and we went to cross around the world uh, at the same time, this is a, an amazing self-grown action that's taking me to like understand better how organization, how to manage time properly for me and for my team, because I was very distracting in the office. I used to distract for everything all day long. Nowadays, I am, I am by myself with my partner and we just like, mm, I need to schedule everything very good and then... I can I do one to one with the team, I do one to one monthly report, I know now better who is doing what at every time. And this has helped me um to be more relaxed and and productivity obviously and, and result has increased. Mm. Yeah, that's that's very inspiring. I think the um tool which the first really successful tool you built was Find That Lead. Um what yeah. did what did you do before that? What was the story to get there? Mm. I did Gulliver, which was uh, very similar, but it was a service-based. The idea is, after reading the book, I said, yeah, I'm going to have a team of um, virtual assistants that they're going to find emails, do outreach and all that, which they, we did very well. Only problem is that I was charging way too little for a service that didn't leave enough margin, and I was making money from day one, and then it was, it was no problem point to continue and just it died in there mm. somehow i met my business partner today christian vitales and what it was is okay the most important part on that process was finding the emails we used to use a tool called cell hack but it was way too expensive still exists the tool and and i remember contacting uh the owner I don't know. It's like, hi, man, we're going to build the Spanish tool. And they were like, okay, okay, okay. Well, and it's just been, it's just been now six or seven years, 150,000 users. And, and, you know, it's, it's just, it's good, doing very well, you know, mm. growing day by day. And this, I find that it is very automated today. It's very automated. We do have an amount set of registrations that they come very organic. And, and we do put, obviously, I would say 70% of our time and just improving the tool, the SEO and things like that. But the process is we don't have sales guys. Um, I don't do any invoicing. I don't do any day to day on it. And it's, it's who really pays uh, the bills today. I find that lead. And mm, great. Yeah. We are also using the tool, by the way, I just used, uh, used it yesterday. Um, we're using it for lead scraping and then now starting a big uh, outbound marketing campaign. Good. I'm happy, man. I'm happy yeah. to help. And yeah, it's it's been, I think one of the secrets for us was partnering with AppSumo. And to every everyone just telling you, you need to find a, an amazing team and an amazing partner just to make grow your company. We would be unknown to most of the world if it wasn't for AppSumo and mm. this was like a one day thing we were lucky we were at the right time we did the, that's my job you know that's the only thing I do very well is contacting with people that's why find that it existed because I was crazy about doing outreach and I was crazy about when I send the emails understanding why and yet Automation is super important, but one-to-one -one email, this makes a difference. And I actually was talking yesterday with my girlfriend. Like, I remember the day I sent an email to AppSumo, to the guy who's contacting that we are friends now. It's been four years relationship. He's, he's coming tomorrow in Barcelona. You know, he's like, you, you, business partners are for a long time and make sure like the same as in AppSumo, I, the same in, 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 in Tim Ferriss, he says, don't have a hundred affiliate guys that's going to bring you mm. just 1%. Have yeah. one amazing big partner. AppSumo brought me hundreds of thousands of pounds. I mean, hundreds of thousands. And what I want to tell you is that build an amazing relation with someone and build it up from there. Little by little, you can have one, two great, amazing partners and, and that's it. Forget the rest. And this is what we did. We forgot the rest. There is no any, my affiliate 
it's not working. It's terrible, my affiliate links. That, it's nothing that we work on. And, and why? Because we have a great one, which is Absumo and a couple more, and that's it. Mm -hmm. you know, we do have an affiliate links and stuff. It's nothing that is too much work for little effort. And for everyone, guys, just think about the Pareto and how important it is. And I, I, we take it very naturally. Um, value your time so much. My time for me is, is it's so important. If I buy, my time, it's $500 per hour. Okay. The task I'm going to be doing, is it five, will bring $500 or more? Yes, no. No, probably you can not, you don't have to do it. Don't do it. If you don't feel like, no, don't do it. And sometimes it's not just the value, it's do I enjoy what I'm doing? Is it like in here, do I enjoy it? Is it going to bring me pain? And yeah, obviously a little bit of pain and stress push us. But if it's that if it's too painful, too continuously, don't do it, man. Don't do yeah. it if you don't like yeah. it. And mm -hmm. and and I did a course with David Hensel, which is a, 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 he's an amazing person I follow. And it's like do do everything based on out of love. If you're not doing it based out of love, it's not going to work. And when we talk about magic and things may happen. It is, it is like when you do something based on love and persistent and not out of fear, you see the results. Yeah, that's amazing. I think you've covered so many topics within that one area. And I've got more questions for you. Go for on. it. Go for it. Go <laughs> so, for it. I know like lots of people want to do AppSumo. Um, what would be your suggestion to them? Should you, should you take that slowly or should you first, as you said, build a relationship? Yeah, Absumo is amazing. And I would recommend you to do the, uh, not, uh, they just learned the marketplace. Yeah, the marketplace. And I think it's it, it hasn't been never easier to launch on Absumo without really being selected and, and months and months of waiting and then, then testing the product. Now just like go to the marketplace and, and just launch it by yourself. And, and you can even put there the price and all that. I think for us, it's, we started doing product hunt, which was good. Mm. But then a product hunt launch takes you a week. Doing it properly takes you a week. The landing pages, the codes, and then you probably get 1,000, 2,000 that have boats maximum. That's like super mega maximum. You cannot sell to them because they will not buy. Probably later if you have sales, maybe. Okay. Same time, you do a uh, launch in AppSumo, yeah. you probably buy one, two, or 3,000 codes, which is like, I don't know, 100K revenue directly to your account. Yeah, they get 70% or whatever. And it's okay. It's, it's okay, man. That's bringing you fucking lots of uh, backlinks, contacts. And, and yeah, we do some, sometimes we think, okay, they have promoted, I don't know, a few other, now it's uh, lead rocks or other like lead generation tools or reply. Yeah, it's fine, man. Still, mm. still the pie is for everyone. Yeah. Even though still the best, you know, that's okay. Yeah. So the, the tools you created, they're mostly, I think, pretty much all of them in outbound and the outbound lead oh. generation space. Yeah. So what did you, yeah. What did you find attractive about that space? If you, I don't know, <laughs> this is where I am, I, man. This is what I do every single day. That's why. And I don't know if you read the book, uh, Rework from Jason Fry. I see you did. Yeah, I have read it. Okay, good. You, you, Chris, go to YouTube and, and read it today while you're going home with the train. I don't know if you commute or anything. Yeah, if you I do. Just, okay, good. Just take it home. It's two hours and a half. You would have read it and it really will change your mind. Rework, right? Yeah, rework from uh, Jason Fry. Really like, uh, go to YouTube and just, just download it and listen it, okay? It's the rework works on there. Um, they built everything by their own needs. Why the fuck if we have a, a programmers in the house and if it's something that I'm doing by repetition and is inside of my, my own market, then why I should not develop? We do have 150,000 users. It's people who are looking for emails. That means they're looking average. Anything related to that, I can throw it to them. I and mean, if it's good quality and it's bringing them 
I never thought there is no strategy of five years based on no. It's like okay, I'm doing backlinking now. That's a new new wave in the house. Okay, I'm doing backlinking. I go to SendRise, download the backlinks, upload it to Findersly, generate the emails. It's like okay, how difficult would it be when we research for the emails to research for the backlinks in the websites? That's the our big job on the back end. Like no, it's just adding an extra line of code to what we're scraping. Okay, let's do it. And, and and we launched Meerkat, uh, I think it's just like two weeks ago, we're testing it. And if we have to 2000 registration the first month, we're going to do the next step, which is the next step is logging, download, connect, buy credit. You know, it's like, this is how we develop Meerkat now. At the same time, I'm doing a, a case study on seeing how to launch a product from zero, okay? Mm -hmm. And and some stuff, I usually start writing it, and then when it's like, okay, this is, I send it to a copy guy, and she will, or he will end it doing. Okay, this is number one thing, okay? How to launch a product from zero using our own tools. Yeah, it's a good case start. Second, then Scrabbing. Scrabbing started the same. We were using Duck Soup big time. We like it. We love it. I think that's an awesome tool. You also have LinkedIn Helper. The same with like, man, uh, we're giving our data to DuckSoup. No, man. And Will, the owner of DuckSoup, we were kind of like helping each other a few years ago. But then when they, we start the relationship, no harm, no, but it's like, okay. Mm. And it's like, how difficult will it be? Okay. Since we take the decision to do it, uh, which is like six months doing the first test, X and Y. It took us two years to do a real proper launch. And then now it's a fully working tool that made, I think that right now over 100K since we launched it. It's good. It's not amazing business yet, but I know in the next one or two years, it's going to be at the stage where it's now find that lead, which is, 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 is grown nearly to a million dollars business. And, and that's how it's going little by little. And, the same find that lead you know it's is uh find that fake now is is an api that we build for our own tool because we used to have uh, people scraping they used to come and build and it's things that we have for our own and we launch it you know something mm. things work better some things doesn't work so much find that fake hasn't really launched yet to where the state I want because I haven't worked it on it or find, haven't found the correct partner. But Meerkat, for example, it's exactly the same users as find that lead, looking for new leads, uh, they will use. The same for Scrabbing. Scrabbing is exactly the same um, user as find that lead. Yeah, and, and it's just, and this is a, a very important thing that you, have you seen the Schindler list? Do you know the film? It's a bit sad. Uh, I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. Okay, you are a young guy. I remember I'm older. And Schindler is, if, if anyone watched the film, boy, well, basically one of the beginning parts is the audience is the most important. Who is your customers? Mm. The first thing is finding out your customers. Once you have the customers, just develop products around them. And I think this is, yeah, another cliche, uh, find the customers it is true this is the fucking most important thing you're going to do it's not about the product it's not about the color it's not about the what where if i no man it's just about once you have a massive community then a, a good product that you know it's shooting for you it's going to be shooting for them this is about it if you develop a product and you don't have anyone behind you're going to have a problem at the same time I'm going to say something that it's been very helpful for me because um, if I compare myself to HubSpot, it's like, fuck, man, I'm doing so bad. That's it, man. My life is shit, you know? Or if I compare to Nathan Natka or to X and Y's, it's like, man, I'm not driving a Lambo. What the fuck? Mm. Um, one thing, just just to feel yourself happy and not kill yourself out of, out of frustration and depression would be compared to yourself last month, six months ago and a year, has improved. Oh, man. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, my only recommendation, because 
SAS and Instagram and Facebook. And you see probably Russell Brunson there with his new home in Ferrari and someone who just put a boat. It's like, what the fuck? He just put a boat. How much is that boat? It's probably two million. I, I, I'm even paying my fucking credit cards this week, you know? Yeah, man, forget it. Just like my only recommendation because the first four years of Find That Lead was hell. And it was sad. It was very sad. I couldn't even pay, like, going to supermarkets or nothing. And now it's like, okay, it has changed. It has, it's not that yet to the point that I'm receiving millions and millions, you know. It's just like, okay, well, yeah, we're making money. It's not like Grand Cardone style. But my only recommendation, if you want to be insane during while you're building up a digital business, is compared to yourself for last month, six months ago, a year. And have very clear plans where you're going, because if not, it's just like you lost. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> so much value there, Gerard. Um, I think th again, there's so much. Go for it, but um, don't don't be I shy. Want to, I questions. mean, <laughs> I like it. So, this, when this I, when some I, podcast conversation. I like when it. I, when I listen to this because it's it's resonates because I'm kind of like you, where I love. You know, we, I love to solve people's problems and I love the fact that, that what I do is, you know, I love what I do. Uh, but there's also this balance where you can't go after every shiny object, object or product. How do you balance this? How do you know when to stop and not go down that hole? The best answer, man, I just have to say, thank my business partner. He's just like my God to that. I kind of, I, yes. Um, just like guys, Basim and, and Chris, you two, I think you balance very well each other. I just have an amazing business partner. It's impossible doing it by yourself. If you try to do it by yourself, there's no chance you're going to succeed. And if you succeed, you're just, no, there's no point on uh, yeah. success is better when it's shared. This is like money. Money is better when it's shared and it's grown by, 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 you know, and I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah, once I have my, when my family came, I had more money because kind of like you work because the out of love, you want to give the best to your family. And, and this is what happens, man. And the same with my business partners has helped me to say, no, no. Oh man, you don't know how many fucking business ideas I have on a daily basis. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. My mind is, I'm, I am three things. I'm an explorer, I'm an adventurer, and I'm an inventor. Okay. Uh, one of them, like, ah, I'm all day thinking, just Christian, what about if? No, sure, no, sure, no, sure. And, yeah. And... I think it reminds me also, like, Vasim is very much a, an idea man in our team also. And uh, I have to stop him sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> or the other way around also. Yeah, just like it balance and there's this. And we used to fight a lot with my business partner. And in the beginning, I used to get frustrated and angry. Oh, you know, listen to me, blah, blah, blah. But then it's like, oh, if I say it 100 times, he says, fuck, that idea must be good. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Meerkat, before it became a reality, was like, oh, man, fuck, backlinks are good. Look, let me show you. And I was doing tests and tests and share like, okay, check out here. Check this, how many people said yes. Check out. Like, okay, let's fucking do it. And yeah, and... and you have to cultivate your own team, the idea. And if you can, if you have idea and you can cultivate your own team about the idea, I will build the same MVP, the first MVP. And it's like, fuck, dear, fuck that. The idea is probably not even good enough to launch. Or probably yes, you know. And how about... About the shining things, I see it all the time, but sometimes it's not gold, man. This is just like a, a piece of <laughs> metal that someone thrown it there. You know, it's just, yeah. I hope I hope I answer your question. No, I, I perfectly understand that. Obviously, there's somebody else as well who's guiding yeah, your yeah, your your path. Um, but it's sometimes also making that call where you see, oh, there is actually this shiny object is not just a shiny object. There is some meat behind it. So when do you make that decision? You know, um, I think by testing it, and it sounds very like, oh, test, growth hack, test. Um, test if it really works. Do a second test. Test the third time, fourth time. See if it's what, what 
you're doing it gets sticky and it gets good and and from that take it and i think it's important that at the same time is paralysis by analysis i'm not big i'm not a big fan of analysis i'm actually working on that and i'm improving it but we track everything i do not even check google analytics on find that lead. i it's like i've never been in there and it's like okay how do i know people would like do i know how i like it tested 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 but also act on it just like launch it and have a day probably it's like okay guys if in six six weeks we have a launch that's it this is out and and we launch a few products that they never come out you know mm. we had things that um picture for cards obviously it's not point now the signature maker which is a tool that we just left it inside from that did things that there are many 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 things that hasn't come out i think the let it flow and once you, but once you have the audience send an email to your audience with the product and will they buy it yes no and then in in, in our case with the scrabbing up sumo guys will launch an offer of uh let's send it to them and it work and then this is that's how you launch a product with, with your own audience mm. yeah so so with the tools you you built what were the best like the biggest marketing channels that helped you to get uh, you said AppSumo already but what were some other big channels that helped you get attention and traffic mm, you're going to be laughing but one by one is the best man mm. i think I, i i would just go on any with i have no idea how to do a digital world when i started i didn't know how to do digital marketing and it's just like linking one by one one by one one by one then it's like okay uh we're now using scrubbing to automate messages and that's it like but um, my only recommendation is what aaron ross say in his book choose a niche and go for it man i don't know if you read the book predictable revenue no i haven't you're you're wasting your time then Uh, you should be reading it, uh, and and Aaron Ross is probably the best outreach guy ever in the world, you know. And he, we also interviewed him and read the book and contact him if you need to say the, his name, Aaron Ross. Yes, Aaron Ross from Predictable Revenue. Oh yeah. If you need his his name, uh, his email, just let me know. I'm happy to introduce you. And Aaron yeah. Ross is like the guru of about marketing type of thing. Like Sean Ellis is growth marketing. Aaron Ross is like on outbound. And the idea is niche the market, man. It's like in my case, we choose a vertical, very specific, and then we went for there on the messages, on the website. And yeah, we could have gone for recruitment or um, X and Y or nomads, whatever. We choose one thing and that's it. And that's how, how you go. And you have to go all the way in. Just make sure you also part of... Uh, let's say my market, I cannot say um, blonde people in France, for example. No, make sure you you you, you are similar to the guys on uh, the market that you're searching for. Yeah, that's really helpful. And um, I think we already kind of have this now, uh, this knowledge, but it's good to hear it from somebody who sees it and, and it kind of resonates. Things are more simple and it's like, Uh, ask you and, and grab from the book is am I am I just kind of wasting my time and I'm doing this to fill up my fucking time or or we do have sometimes nothing to do better than mm. work we, there is like work is like great ex escape work is the best place to hide from your problems from everything and then if you life is boring and shitty then you will spend more hours doing shitty work in your company okay my recommendation is have an amazing outside life and then bring it to your company and and if you can have a very specific time parameters to work on it you will make sure um it's it's working it's like it's it's perfect if i know Oh, by five o'clock, I want to go walking with my girlfriend nearby the beach because it's a river or X and Y. Man, let's fucking do it fast, you know? Let's fucking do as much as we can and happily. I have to show to the company that time 
can be managed differently. And this is important. Have an amazing outside life. Have hobbies. Have and if you guys don't have hobbies, find hobbies because and 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 yeah, you should have hobbies. Everyone and I did forget that for a long time. And it helps you so much in the personal way that you bring it to the company and inspire other people by doing it. Yeah. That. Great point. I mean, you already mentioned Grant Cardone earlier. It reminded me a bit of him because he always says, maximize all areas of your life, right? Um, to go all in with everything. I, I love Grant Cardone and just not, I, I follow him and, and I invited him on my podcast as well some time ago. Yeah, checked it out. Yeah, thank you very much. And I love the energy. This guy is pure dynamite. I mean, he's 60 years old and he's so persistent. And so I remember when I had to do the meeting with him and that's my little dog. In here. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember when I had to do the meeting with him, I was like, fuck. Uh, he was actually coming to Barcelona. He, he couldn't do it. But the first email is, Gerard, thanks for your email. I'm coming to Barcelona. Okay. And I remember calling to my sister and like, fuck, he's coming to Barcelona. I'm not making millions. I'm, it's like, I'm, what the hell, man? I, and he, she, she said, my assistant, which was like amazing words, like, Gerard, at, at your age, this guy was taking drugs all fucking day. That means just shut up. And when you're 60, you're going to be making more money than him. And that's my assistant, you know, telling me that. It's like, yes, you're right. This guy was like a shit head when he was younger, you know? And and I love the energy and he's he's just empowering. But at the same time, he's super obsessed about money and blah blah blah. Just take Grand Cardone with a few values that he has about the system, being omnipresent. And it's the book 10X. I think it's a great book. Everyone should read it or audio 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 read it. And I would say uh the 10x book where he talks about omnipresence and and how important it is to be sometimes we say no i will be in facebook or linkedin or extra. you have to be everywhere and just just make sure you have a little strategy today you can get someone from fiber or upwork and and teach them in a slowly process and telling them okay do one post for me on linkedin or then one in Instagram, then one in Facebook, then one in Twitter, based on these three profiles I follow. One, X, and Y, and X, and Y. Just copy his content, remaking it, and that's it. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how, for example, just like my Facebook group, I don't, I, don't, I don't go in there. I don't have time. It's someone who's like trusted by me. We talk on a daily basis. And, and that's it. It would be impossible. I wouldn't, I would have no life. I had no life if I had to run the Facebook group plus the LinkedIn plus. Yeah. And this is important. And for example, interviews, I used to do them. I was trying once a week, twice a week. And it was taking so much time. It does a lot of time for you guys. And in a way, it's like, okay, what do we get back? And it's like, and if you value it's like fuck this takes so much and what I my thing I take on the interviews is I analyze people that I really think they brought me some joy for example last week I finished the book from um, the monk that sold his Ferrari yeah uh, what's his that's what's the name I'm yeah exactly and then it's like okay let's get him let's get well, obviously, it's, going to, it's not going to be like super easy, but let's get him on the on the call. Or the same with Tim Ferriss. It's been impossible, you know. Now the strategy for getting Tim Ferriss is, are you ready, guys? I'm going to share that with you. Yes. And uh, Hopefully, yes. I don't think so. But, you know, who knows? Um, I download all his Instagram followers because we have a new tool that downloads your Instagram followers. This is not public yet, but... I don't know if we're going to make it public, but anyway, we download all Tim Ferriss Instagram followers, which is, we got 192,000 guys, and I'm just sending an email. Hi, uh, James, uh, we'd like to interview with Tim Ferriss. Do you have any chance you can connect me with him? Um, if I'm sending 192,000 emails, probably someone knows him by, and, and that's it, you know, we get him an interview with him. Things like this is, is on a daily basis. Yeah, things like that. 
That's amazing. Um, and I see like you kind of use automation to the next level. Wherever you see anything which can, which is repeated, I think you create systems and and maybe like apps. Uh, tell tell us more about. Um, do you create a process first, or do you literally just dive in and mm. ask people to do it? Yeah, mm, I think it's once we talk with Christian, it can be automated in a way that it's very natural and it's always by uh, good people around it and and automation man it's just like if you would see my computer is like i have 100 100 what's tabs Perhaps. open yeah. yeah and and yeah automations are difficult for me automations are difficult but then you find the right person and i think it's about the people behind how much they're involved with the project and then it's always ways of doing it yeah i'm not the best guy to tell you yeah use up here and use that and i would say use the human people behind and then they will find a way of doing it okay yeah so uh, your office or your base is in in barcelona right yeah, correct. Yeah. We find that it is in, uh, it's a Miami-based company. Okay. Okay, which is it is Miami, and then, but we the main, it's just like uh, how we opened the company, but the people work from Barcelona. Yeah. And I'm now in Middle yeah. Africa. How do you find like the Barcelona startup environment versus because I think I can see you traveling quite a lot and you you've got to see a lot of places. How do you find Barcelona versus other areas? Yeah, um, Bars yeah, I cut a little bit. Sorry, guys. Barcelona is amazing um, for starting. But if you really want to grow your business, you need to be US-based market. You really need to focus US, 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 US. Just like make the numbers, you know, just make the numbers. And obviously now uh, we just focus also on China, China, China. <laughs> Yeah. And try to make sure your business can be paid with WeChat. And if not, just try. At least try to get to some traffic from China. And this baby wants to run out. <laughs> and and have and just like uh, yes, go somewhere who which is amazing. But nowadays, with thanks to COVID, man, just go anywhere you really want to enjoy, where the where the money stretches the most. Mm. Nowadays, like one of the places I want to go is to Turkey. I know Turkey; it's like three times cheaper than Barcelona. It's like, man, do you know how much can we do in Turkey? And also, my girlfriend is from Argentina, and we were saying, how much could we do in Argentina? Okay, what I want to tell you is like. Are you guys based in London, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. How much? I mean, you're probably paying for a room a thousand euros, thousand quid, yeah? Yes. I don't know. Do you know what the fuck you get in, in Thailand for a thousand? You get a, a, a villa. That doesn't care. Just get a room in Thailand. Do you know how much money you have to develop products? And I think that's this is very important in the beginning that this takes me, this took, this took me many years to understand, okay, uh, we do have an office and the office is, will be always, I have a flat also in Barcelona and this is like how it is, but do you know how much can you, how many businesses can you start by cutting out expense, uh, daily expenses, finding out how many expenses do you have and how little you need to start? Ooh, man, this is mm. important business. How many people is, uh, no, I'm doing, I'm going to do a round of uh, the first business angels that they will take half of my fucking company. They're going to give me a hundred grants and I'm going to burn it in six months. Man, go to fucking Thailand to develop your product. You know, seriously, just go and live with the family, start with zero and, and that's it. That's a choice of life if you, you want your business to run. Now this is... COVID, it opens so many doors for everyone. And I, I'm i not a millionaire. I want to feel like, okay, let's go to Thailand or let's go to Turkey or let's go to, you know, that's it. Let's go to Argentina with with 5K a month in Argentina. You are a millionaire. Well, I want to, that's, that's, that's how it is, you know. And 
don't do expenses, monthly expenses, why in London? Yeah, you, once you started the first connections and when you have probably the first customers, X and Y, most of it can be done from outside. You don't have to go every every day to your office and spend $30, 30 pounds on a train ticket. Sorry, mm. man. I mean, Chris, sorry, I took your example. <laughs> That's an interesting perspective, definitely. And I'm very much inspired also to see more places in also U.S. especially. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, is I have a friend who they went to the U.S. and it just didn't work. The same. Uh, go somewhere where your money will be stretched more. Do mm -hmm. outreach like crazy. Do interviews like crazy. You could be talking Grand Cardone uh, or any, just like uh, Guy Kawasaki, Grand Cardone, Nip Patel, uh, big guys. I'm not in the US. They speak to me. I'm kind of like friends with them. They like share my mobile. We had a one hour talk. We know each other a little bit. Okay, I could be anywhere in the world and you could be interviewing them. My recommendation is, and I think it's spend as little as possible while you're not making too much. Like, and this is, this is the only, this is the law you need to follow when you're starting. And man, if money is not coming in, you need to make sure you need to make sure is 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 this is gravity <laughs> that's amazing and jared like what would we what would you say is the source of your energy then because if you let's say traveling you don't get to see like let's say physically many people um but for example when i know i know chris uh, he he has um this this not this requirement but he loves energy around so what would you say like how would you um, say how do you drive energy mm, i used to have i used to have a lot of coffee <laughs> uh well, i'm not joking on that and i have usually one can of coke a week because i used to drink a lot of coca-cola and chips we built fine that least my girlfriend is looking like mm. and i used to drink a lot of coca-cola coffee XM, but then i don't sleep and then nowadays i found like Pure chocolate with soya milk. Oh man, this is like the probably the best thing ever. And it's better than coffee. And it's like pure cocoa, pure cocoa and with hot soya milk or whatever. Uh, I had one. And, <laughs> and it's so, it's like so, like it has so much protein and everything. This is one of the things that I like it. I'm also organizing. Organizing makes me feel. If I organize my week ahead, it's like, oh my God, this is so much more relaxed. Mm. I feel like, okay, I'm top of everything, organizing. Then what I'm doing nowadays that I am on the road because I'm, I'm such in a constant changes. I ask, we have a coach on Find Athlete who you can approach. She's like, they, anyone can go as many times as they wish during whenever. She's always available. We just call her and book a time. And I, okay, say so then I week. I need once a week now. I need once a week for the next eight, uh, four weeks, eight weeks. One. This helps me so much, man, to focus. She doesn't tell me anything. She's just going to listen to me and it's like, okay, Jared, let's do a plan for next week. Now, one, can you plan your week? What's the outcome of planning your week? Because I used to say, yeah, organization doesn't allow me to uh, for my inspiration. It's like, okay. Then leave time for inspiration. Leave it's, it's important to plan. And for me, it's very difficult because I'm so spontaneous. That at the same time, you need to keep a balance on that. And if you have a team of 10 to 12 people, you need to have one-to-one uh, -one meetings. You need to have uh, once, and that's a funny thing. My energy is if what you're doing, you're enjoying it. And one of the questions I ask to myself is, um, Gerard, if you, if a doctor comes to you and say uh, you have a cancer and you have a one month uh, to live, would you be doing what you're doing? It's like, yes, I am very happy. Where am I now? Would you change anything? Yeah, probably change. I will work a few less hours if it's one month left, but I will be where I am now. And this is super, super important. Mm. It's about choosing. If you choose your path, man, your, the, the energy just comes along. Then it just comes along. Have time to relax as well. Super important. One of the things is I just de deleted Instagram from my mobile. I, I check Instagram, but only on computer-based. Yeah. That's, yeah, desktop, man. This I is... Know. That's... 
I, I would really tell you guys, I tested for one week. I've been doing it one week. I was crazy Instagram. I used to spend like hours and hours. And when we are on the road before, and I used to put things like, yeah, don't check Instagram before nine, after nine. <laughs> I'm allowed to check Instagram, Facebook, everything, but on the desktop. Great. Great point. And how does it work then with posting? Can you still post from the phone or do you post from desktop? I don't post. Yeah, that's a problem. I, okay, probably okay. Probably your staff does, I guess. Yeah, no, 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 no. On on my that's I'm talking on my Instagram. What I said with my girlfriend is I like Instagram and following and all that. Then I'll do one post every month. And that's it. Right. On my Instagram, my girlfriend runs the our own trip thing, and she likes posting. She, she's happily mm. addicted, and 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 <laughs> <laughs> she's there here laughing. She's happily addicted, and I, I think last time it checked like I don't know how many hours she spends a day. But at the same time, man, is is this is this is my second most important addiction is um, audiobooks. We I have the Storytel app. This is man. This is like pure stuff. This is like pure real stuff. And, and if you have to be addicted to something, make sure it's something healthy, you know. Yeah. And you take it's like you, you eat books every fucking week. You can have like two or three weeks. And the same time you are checking Instagram, whatever. I'm not even telling you delete Instagram. Just put an audio book while you're checking Instagram. That's it. Right. And yeah. That's cool. And so you already shared so many great lessons. That's amazing. But um, what's what's kind of next for you? Maybe that, that would be interesting for the viewers to, to hear what exciting things are coming up next. Uh, develop each, I have an, a three years North Star, man. I could be sharing that specifically on a monthly monthly basis. I'm growing each tool to the state where we want and and obviously increasing everyone's to where they want now hopefully we're not going to launch any more tools for the next few months but growing it to a bigger bigger scale by backlinking doing better seo improving each one hopefully the next steps is improving a few things from find that lead and then going back to scrubbing we just did a, a, a big launch yesterday uh, from scrubbing, meerkat, preparing it where it should be, but always, always with patience and making sure every decision is done out of love, not out of fear. Cool. That's very good. Thank you. Thank you. I think um, I'm mindful about the time, but it's been really, really educational. Educational. I hope it has, man. <laughs> of course, 100%. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for coming. And... Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna share this everywhere online, and um, I'm sure there's really cool stuff in there for a lot of marketers. I mean, our audience is really like business people, marketers, people that wanna you know grow through different marketing channels. So there were really really good things in here. So thank you so much. One one thing I just to let you know is like, what if we have an amazing product, and if you're doing benefit to society, you're just going to find any any to make it successful what I want to tell you is there is not any tool that works for anyone it's just like once you know you have like the core is super good and you're helping people you're going to find a way this is like if someone is dying in the in, in the sea and, and you don't like he's a big guy you're going to swim and take drag him out of the water this is the same and you don't know how you're going to do it but if your product is good you're just going to make it hmm. successful and you don't need the tools will just come the people will just come and if the message is good and the tool is good the rest just comes along and i think that's the core business the the most important work you need to do first is inside you which will be representing in your tools that you're going to be building later yes that's, that's a that's a great statement okay um cool i, I think um that's it for now <laughs> thank you so much and um yeah all the best for the also for your world tour you're doing and um, for the next steps with all your tools yeah everyone can follow us on viajamos libres on instagram my girlfriend said like, yeah yeah good good and also if you want to send me an email uh you can find my email on findthatlead.com <laughs> and at the same time if you want to scrape me on linkedin you can 
is you can use scrape dot e and if you can i'm sure you guys will will write yeah we will share all the links we'll share and then if you want to check out what backlinks goes to my website you go to mirror link mirror dot link <laughs> And then you can steal my backlinks. You know, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Thank and you, guys. Congratulations for the interview and for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye bye. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed the content, there's a lot more coming.